the show last night was really fun. The crowd were really into it, and it seemed like they all knew the words to all the songs, okay. which was one of the first times I've experienced like the entire audience singing along for the entire concert. You know, yeah, it was pretty wild, and it was awesome. Okay, you know, so you just felt all that love, and you know that makes you go even further than than you know you might have I don't know it, it's just really inspiring to feel that you know yeah. so um, it was great and uh, it was a beautiful festival too um, good food you know I haven't been around Midlake for a while so we just met up earlier that day so it was nice hanging out with them and yeah. then um, we you know came watched each other's shows and then okay. had a, um, a late night on the bus um, we just pass we each have we each get our um, um, mp3 players out our iPhones or whatever and just take turns playing songs and we have a great system on the bus this time with a really kick-ass subwoofer okay. so the music sounds amazing you know so we just go around the circle and then I uh, typed all the songs down I'm gonna put it on my Facebook page okay it's a cool list of songs yeah what sort of thing was on there oh boy <laughs> um, Everything from, let's see, Espers, Caribou, um, Who Made Who, Zombie Zombie, um, Buddy Rich, uh, Blondie. Um, Quite a selection there. Yeah, just yeah. old and new, all yeah. sorts of great stuff, yeah. Of course, I can't remember anything now that you've asked me. That's it's a good job it's written So down. awesome, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you were releasing SARS records through Belly Union as well. So how did you come across the label, and how, or how did they come across you? Um, well, we found out, I found out that Simon and Robin, when the Cocteau Twins, when that dissolved in 96, I found out that they were starting their own label because they were sick of the whole game and they wanted to have their own label that they could put all their stuff out on. Yeah. Actually, it was right after that then that they broke up. 96 and but Simon and Robin carried on doing the label and my then bass player in the czars uh, sent a tape uh, or sent a CD to uh, Bella Union and they responded and and said they wanted to hear more and then they wanted us to come over and do an album and so we signed to them and it's always been Simon you know that has uh, believed in me you know it was like it would have been nice to have lots of people clamoring for my <laughs> for my signature on a contract, but it wasn't that way. It was always Simon who sort of saw something in me and believed in me, even when it didn't seem like it was going to happen, and even when I wasn't believing in myself and was really having a hard time sort of sticking with it. Yeah. You know, he sort of um, was always that guy who was always uh, supportive. Okay. So he's always been a constant, you know. Yeah. And um, so Bill Union is is. Uh, you know, special to me. Yeah. 